In this video, I'm going to show you how you can farm unlimited amounts of iron really fast. And you'll be able to turn this into unlimited quantities of supplies just as fast in Ghost of Tsushima. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the tips and tricks to crush Ghost of Tsushima. The iron glitch that I'm going to tell you is by far the fastest way to make money in Ghost of Tsushima. It is also way faster than looting iron from Mongol bases. So th that you'll be able to upgrade your katana as soon as you get enough gold to do all the upgrades. Because you will be rolling in iron and supplies and steel. The first part of this glitch is it has to be done by an Act 1 player. So a player that has not progressed from Act 1 to Act 2. And in my previous videos I've said you can upgrade your katana to level 6 by Act 1 and totally upgrade your stabbing danker, the Tanto, to the highest level by Act 1 with the su supplies iron that are there. Same thing is true here, except that you'll be rolling in supplies and rolling in iron, and you can make 40,000 supplies per hour with this iron farming strategy, which also creates boatloads of steel. Okay, so the first step of this strategy is that you have to have an Act 1 player that swims to Act 2. Right, I've got a video about how to swim to Act 2, but I'll go through the basics right here. You want to be on the beach on the east side of Castle Canada. And you're going to swim across to the first point. But the way you do it is you jump off your horse, which is in the water, swim to the first point. As you get to the first point, you need to spam the jump button so that you do not swim over it. And then you'll hit the sandbar. The key thing with the swimming is that there's going to be a countdown clock go from 10 to 1 to 0. If you get to 0, you die. So you have to hit each one of these three sandbars. The second sandbar is at the second point just beyond the second point. So once you get to the second point, hugging the coast, you want to spam the the, the uh, jump button, the X button. And then the third one is at the third point, you want to go straight across. Don't go along the side. You also want to jump. Each, each, at each one of these sandbars, you want to jump off and swim as fast as you can. And then spam the jump button as you think you're getting close, right? Uh, and then once you get to the third point, then you're going to have to swim for five or ten minutes or so until you get to the first uh, place that you can get ashore, which is the Pillar of Honor uh, near the old Togo rice fields, right? And once you're there, that you have got to fast travel into Act 2. Once you're in Act 2, you want to go to the Numata Mongol camp, right? It's a house chase camp. It's got several objectives. It is it is north of Ashikama Village. It is northeast of the Marsh Rock Shrine. You want to go past the, the Marsh Rock Shrine so you get that fast travel. That'll be your closest fast travel to this point where you're going to farm iron, which you're going to be able to turn into katana and tanto upgrades and into supplies to pay for all your other upgrades. Once you got the Marsh Rock Shrine fast travel, which you don't want to try to do because you don't have the right tools to complete that, uh, you want to go to the Numata Settlement Mongol camp. That Mongol camp is going to be deserted. So the only, in Act 2, the only Mongols you will see are like roving bands that are randomly spawning, but the, the camps will be completely empty. So you want to get on the west side of that camp, and there's a bridge on the west side. You run to the west side. You're going to come across one cart. It's going to have about 10 iron and 5 steel. You want to ride that on your horse, loot it, keep on going straight. You're going to see another cart right in front of you. There's going to be... Ten, about 10 iron it's going to randomly spawn but it's going to average 10 and 5 steel and then you're going to turn around go back across the bridge either the one you went across or the one right next to it and to your left is going to be a third cart that third cart is going to have 10 iron 5 steel on average then you want to restart at the next checkpoint you keep on doing that until you fill up your capacity of iron until you have 500 iron. And then you use that iron and you'll have about 500 iron, about 250 steel. You want to fast travel back to the nearest trapper that you want to uh, do business with. You want to sell all your iron except for the iron that you want to do immediate katana upgrades. 
But you want to be very careful to not loot the Sashimo banners in the Numata settlement. Otherwise, you will not be able to complete this quest and get the one technique point and the two gold for completing this place when you get to Act 2 or 3. So you won't be able to do Platinum. You won't be able to uh, complete it if you loot any Sashimo banners. So, so never loot any Sashimo banners. I don't recommend that you ever leave your horse. Stay on your horse the whole time. Only loot these cards don't worry about anything else all that other stuff is a waste of time compared to what you can loot right so without any gold you can do the level two and three katana upgrades without any gold or steel you can do all the tanto upgrades so the tanto upgrades are 100 the first two katana upgrades are 35 so that's why i'm selling 365 although the level the act one character that i'm using right now that swam to act two and did the farming he's not even done the first quest with yuna in act one so he doesn't even have his tanto yet but once he does he'll be able to totally upgrade his tanto with the hundred iron that he's got left over and then once you're out of iron you'll never be able to get rid of the steel you can't sell the steel at, at least as far as patch 1.07 in late august 2020 so this is i did this in late august 2020 uh while patch 1.07 was the latest patch and you go back to the numata uh, mongol base and keep on doing this until you get 500 iron so each one of these runs for 500 iron should net you 7,500 supplies because you can sell each piece of iron to any trapper for 15 supplies in unlimited quantities. And you can buy almost everything with supplies except for range capacity upgrades and dyes, which you need predator hides and, and flowers for. But you can farm predator hides. You can farm almost everything. You can farm silk, leather, uh, linen, but you can't farm them as fast in a way that'll make as many supplies as this once you've unlocked this. So you should take advantage of it while you have access to it in Act 1. I have uh, an Act 2 character who did not complete the Numata mission because he uh, looted the Sashimo banners. And he cannot complete it, but he still can't uh, get the, the iron and steel in the carts to regenerate. The other thing is the iron that is lootable on the ground, that will not regenerate. Only the iron in the carts, the iron and steel in the carts will regenerate. This is the only place that I've seen that iron will respawn and you can farm it by glitching. Every place else you have to just loot it normally. You can't glitch it, you can't get it to respawn. And it's just these carts, uh, the so-called stolen metal for this objective that I know that you can repeatedly farm. I think the, the runs are about 40 seconds, right? I think you should make 40,000 supplies per hour using this glitch, which is about three times more than the, the best glitch that I knew, the linen glitch, which would get you about 1,400, 1,300 supplies per hour by looting linen in a location just west of the golden temple i think you can pay for every upgrade in the game with about twenty thousand supplies thus about three runs of 10 to 15 minutes for 500 iron should get you enough supplies for the entire game and one run should get you enough for the all the iron and steel that you'll need for the entire game thus in a, less than an hour of farming you should be able to do all your upgrades that you need for the game ghost of tsushima i want to thank our channel viewer sinextra for pointing out this glitch to me i'm linus wilson we give you the tips and tricks to allow you to crush ghost of tsushima subscribe